What's good, people? Like I said in the previous video, I now have the tier 7, and I got it, like, last night at the time of this recording. And by the way, in case you're wondering, the date of my voice recording is 1-18-2024. This gameplay was recorded on the 17th. Yeah. So hopefully by then, at least I'll have the tier 7 upgraded fully, and then I'll be, like, well on my way to the tier 8, but... You know, I'm, I'm getting back into this game slowly. I am. But enough about the tier 7. Let's talk about the wheeled vehicle that I'm currently driving. Well, not even about it. More about the match, if you will. So, I noticed that I am awfully fast. Like, no one is remotely in position by the time I get up here. So I say, hey team, cover me. And to the team's effort, they do. Spot that guy. Uh, miss or hit but bounce spot two more guys the team actually hit something that I spot hallelujah and the map is starting to develop I do this move to spot again and oh look the team is actually ready to hit or not the team but one person is ready for me to hit or ready to hit what I spot so I do a pro move I put my gun my muzzle brake up to like I guess use it as a periscope because in case you didn't know there is a viewport on the end of your barrel in the gun, uh, in this here game. So, if you put your barrel around the corner, you'll spot somebody. Thank you, Quickie Baby, for showing us that. But anyways, uh, I'm looking at the map and I'm like, damn, that's a lot of tanks on the other side of that river. Other side might need some help pretty soon. But I'm not done here, I'm gonna keep spotting. I'm gonna keep spotting, and this OI experimental says enough of this. I must go and fight for my people. And decides to cross open ground and gets hit only two damn times. He should be dead. Should be. But he's not, so now I gotta worry about him. Now, I'm thinking, what's what what is there else what else is there I can do? And then I see that. Put a shot into him. Unfortunately, it doesn't catch him on fire, because we all know the KV series of tanks, the fuel the KV series of tanks. The fuel tanks are in the center of the hole. If you shoot dead center, you will damage fuel tanks on like any KV. So, yeah. Now this Stug is well and properly sent back to the garage. I don't know what he was trying to do, but now he's gone. Now, uh, it's the scores are 10-12 right now, and you know that that's not good. Something has to happen. Something has to happen indeed. And this freaking captured KV-1 is sitting there like a rock. I can't do anything about him from the front. I don't carry gold ammunition. Unless I'm playing tier 10, so you know there's that. Dumb rule, but I like tracking things and getting tracking damage rather than spending gold, uh, well, not gold, but higher amounts of currency. We wanna leave that KV-1 alone for right now. And then we come over here and we realize an M56 and a low health heavy tank and a tank destroyer just falls off a cliff and commits suicide? I mean, alright, cool. Now, M56 misses. And this is his doom. And he knows it too. That's why he goes and tries to go after the other heavy tank. Now this sucks for him because he well and truly was top tier. Him and his KV-3 buddy that drove across the bridge. But he See, he just says, bro, fuck this game, and runs directly into a KV-85, which is like, damn near three times his weight. Yeah, he was gonna lose that. Now, I fate going to the right to try to throw off any, uh, base defenders, we wanna call them that, to be nice about it. But I'm going back to the same spot that I was fired at before. And yes, that tank destroyer really just fell off that bridge and ended up head, uh, upside down. On, on a damn, on a, on a, uh, the ground there. It's shit crazy. Now, this KV-1, is he still up here? Of course he is. Of course he is. So I'm gonna do what any, uh, normal light tank driver would do. And circle strafe. Problem is, he has a very nice rate of fire. But I have more hit points. So I can afford to hold my fire, catch his side, proceed to hit his track and not actually him, spot the artillery, go for his side one more time, then kill him. The artillery is up there. I spot him and wait for it. Someone hits him. 
sets him on fire, and he's back to the garage. Fantastic. But wait a minute, there's one medium tank that hasn't been spotted for the entire game. Oh, he's right here. And he is also AFK. You know what that means? Striking damage. Don't mind if I do. People, this was a good game. This was a good game to me. Now, did what I do shape the outcome of the battle? I mean, maybe. If I didn't go for that scorpion, who knows what he could have done. But, I'm satisfied regardless. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.